here's how to make a DIY advent calendar. So here's all the fabrics I'm using. So it'll be very rainbowy, which I'm excited about. And then look at all this trim I got. I have lots of very fun things. So this will have like the numbers of which day it is. And then this is like a whole pack of trim, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, but I feel like all of this looks a little tacky all together, but I think once I divide it into colors, it'll be cute, hopefully. <laughs> First thing I'm doing is I design a pattern on Cricut and then I cut it out of cardstock just so that I can trace and cut everything out really quickly. I don't know if you can see these. Stocking hat. I use my Cricut to do this. Honestly, these are super simple shapes and you could definitely draw these out by hand with a pencil and then cut them out with scissors, but I do have a free template if you have a Cricut so you can also cut these out really easily. Once I had my template, I laid out my fabric in color order. That way I can make sure to cut out one of each fabric in the hat and then a stocking. I think the two shapes balance each other really nice, so that's a good variety. Um, and I use flannel and cotton fabrics, but felt would also be a great alternative if you want to save some money and then you don't have any fraying edges. Trace the cardstock template onto the fabric with a water-soluble marker, then use fabric scissors to cut each shape out. Make sure to cut out two pieces for each hat and stocking. There needs to be a front and a back, so there's a spot to put the treat. Here is everything cut out. I like how it's going. It's huge, but that's okay. <laughs> um, one thing I'm concerned about is it's going to be easy to tuck something in this, which is the point of the advent calendar that you can put a little toy or a tree or like something to do. But this one, it's not going to be easy to tuck in unless you like put it upside down, which I think that'll look dumb. I want this to look like a little hat. like. But what I'm kind of thinking is maybe I can like sew an extra layer in with this and have like a pocket that I create um or should I just hang it upside down what do you think for all of my hats I ended up cutting the top off my template and cutting one more piece of fabric for each hat and this is going to make a little tiny baby pocket that will go inside the hat so that I can put a treat in there because that is top priority now that I have all of my pieces cut out, I cut a little piece of two inches of velvet, and this is going to be the hook for each hat and stocking. This is how they will hang later, and I will show you how to put those on next. You could use hot glue for this, but I found it easier to just use my sewing machine. I folded the velvet loop in half and then quickly stitched it onto each stocking, and then I went around the edge of the stocking and stitched that close as well. For the hat, we did things a little bit differently. First, for the little pocket, I just stitched along the edge on one piece, and then on the back of that, I added the loop, and then I just needed to put the two pieces of fabric together and go on both sides, so side side, the bottom doesn't get stitched so that it can be opened up later. And then, honestly, it was so exciting because I flipped all of them the right side out and I divvied out all of my different trim into different colors, all the buttons and fluff, and it looks so good. I turned on my favorite holiday movie, which is You've Got Mail, and I had the best time watching that while also hot gluing everything in place. I used the hot glue gun and went to town, making each piece totally unique. I lined the pom-poms up, added as much trim as I could, did a diagonal design the flowers, added ribbon to each edge, and it was honestly so fun to see it come together. Each piece looks totally different and fun. And I mean, this is the fun part of it. And I went to town. This is something you don't have to go as crazy as I did or you could because it's just like really fun to use all the stuff and, you know, make them look really special. Okay, look how cute these are. I still need to add like bigger pom-poms to the top of the hats. Um, and find a way to hang it, which I still haven't figured out yet, but I think they're really cute. The plan was to buy like big white pom-poms for all the top of the hats, but I decided to make my life true here and make my own pom-poms with coordinating yarn. I think it'll be cuter and take more time. My favorite thing. I used a palm maker to turn the yarn into the pom-pom. So you just wrap the yarn around each of the arms and there's four arms. You put two together, you wrap around two, and then you wrap it around the other two. Then you cut all of the edges and you use more yarn in the same color to tie a knot. Then you open the whole thing, take it apart, and you cut off the edges and that's how you make the pom-pom. And then once they were all done, oh my gosh, look how cute they look in the matching colors. I just used a hot glue gun to attach the pom-poms to the top of the hats and make them look very textural and absolutely adorable, if I do say so myself. 
So once those were on, I used little stamps to stamp wooden hearts with each number, and I'm doing 24 days for my advent. You can do 25 if you like, and then we just drilled a hole through the top of each heart, so then I could add some string to hang it with the stockings and the hats, and I just used white twine and tied it in a knot at the top, and they went through really easily and then to hang them i have this string or you could use command hooks on a normal wall or nails if you want and i um took yarn and i used painter's tape and i hung it to the back of the screen and then i strung up every single hat and um, stocking and number in order and at first when they're all pushed together like this they look totally awful um, so then you have to kind of fluff it out and push it to the right areas to make it look good and here it is all finished up